crippling habit in the household. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How much are like pyramids nowadays? Pyramid schemes? Yeah. Oh, I was like, the <laughs> actual ones probably from? astronomical. <laughs> 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 like, <laughs> what do pyramids go for? How much? Yeah, what's yeah. that? What's that Giza one going, going for right now? For yeah, a scam. As we're into real estate. <laughs> All right. You ready to do this? Ready to go? Yeah. All right. Uh, <clears throat> 90s intro. You ready? <sighs> do we freeze frame? You're right. You stroking out? Mm, uh, do you smell toast? Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, what's up, y'all? We're back from tour. Uh, Adam's dead, unfortunately, so we're looking for a new guitarist. And that, yeah, um, we're here with TV Tragic, going to talk about tour stuff. We've been, actually, we're here. We're going to debunk the myth of the clitoris. Yeah. Uh, yeah, fellas, you've what been being it? lied to your entire time. Where you are rubbing it? the right spot, but let's go. Oh, I like oh, that. Yeah, I like crowd. that. And then we, so, what's up? What's up, motherfuckers? We, yeah, we, we broke a rule. Uh, so we've got three motherfuckers over here, two yeah. of them sharing a mic. Also, another momentous occasion thing. Steve is actually fucking on this one. <laughs> yeah, he's, 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 he's running the shit, too. Uh, pulling double, double duty over yeah, here. Adam, yeah, Adam, this, this whole episode goes out to Adam and his shoulder. Rest in peace. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's dead. He died on tour. All right, yeah. brother. But yeah, but we're here to talk about that. What's up? I've got what's up, Chris? Hello. How's it going? Good. I haven't really gotten to like sit around and like talk with I you. Know, this yeah. is like the first this, time. Yeah, this we've the first actually time. hung out, hung out. Yeah, that's nice. Uh also Joe, but he's all, always quiet. I heard he doesn't talk Hi. at all. <laughs> yeah, I heard he's got a weak voice. Yeah, that's what, what they say. Yeah. That's what they say. Oh, weak Joe weak voice Joe. That's what we call him in the T V tragedy. That's that's what we call it. Yeah, so this podcast has officially just become not even called the ink box anymore. It's just like this is the suck TV tragedies dick fucking podcast now. Yeah. First episode was Geo talked about TV tragedy. Second ep- episode fucking meatbag wouldn't shut up about you. <laughs> fucking yeah. don't remember who we had on. It's the third basically one. just my show at this point. Yeah, and then oh yeah, Ben Talty talked about you, and now finally I've just got TV tragedy on here. I've got to hang out with Mouse like eventually, but yeah, he, that man intimidates me. He's an intimidating person. He, all he does the entire time we're together is just scream at yell us at nonstop. Us. Just right. yelling at us. Yeah, nonstop. And it, it hurts, you know? So yeah. That's what this episode is really about. <laughs> this, so, this is a mouse. call out to Mouse. <laughs> yeah, bl- blink please. if you guys need help. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> mouse, please hang out with me. <laughs> and don't yell at me. All right, I'm going to let you you try, try your hand at this hosting thing. See if you yeah, can you know, like, man, I'm more of like a behind-the-scenes guy. I mean, this is kind of weird being on this side of the... Yeah, you well, brought the fucking board up I here know. to do it. Well, to, I need something to do so that way nobody notices that I'm just sitting over here. To work double <laughs> yeah. time, Not yeah. participating, right? So no, for you all the to... diehard fans, this is what goes on behind yeah. the scenes, literally. I just That's push it. all the buttons. Yeah. Just push... Yeah! What's up, everybody? He's got that one lined up in bed. In his bedroom? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Every mm. time I freaking come, it's... <laughs> and then Ann's like, oh, man, that was 45 minutes. <laughs> Things are raw and chased. Even when he's masturbating? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Now you need, need the encouragement sometimes. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> so what's up? Yeah, how, yeah. how was your guys' tour? So yeah. our tour was bougie as fuck. Uh, <laughs> the entire... Yeah. Looked comfy. Yeah, the, the entire time... I posted that thing... On Facebook and fucking Geo's like, I see carpet. What the fuck is going on with your tour? <laughs> yeah. Like, there's a comforter back there too. What kind of fucking tour are you? Yeah, like? we did shower didn't... again. I yeah. said, is that is that padded carpet? And Chris said, <laughs> Yeah, not even just the padding from the carpet. But it's <laughs> padded carpet. <laughs> Literally slept on just the carpet padding on a garage floor. Yeah, oh, nice. We did that. Fucking Adam watched the movie The Green Room before the tour, right? And oh, nice. He would not fucking shut up about it. At every, at every show, he's like, green room, guys, green room, guys. Well, uh, the show we played in Houston, uh, he's making that joke. And fucking we go up. The first the the first act, the guy that went on before, was this, like, fucking, like, weird-ass, like, performance art thing. And we didn't know that, but we're up on stage putting our shit up there, and there's just a machete, like, all, just sitting on the fucking stage. And Adam okay. walks up. He's like, he's like, you know, like, I, I've been making these green room jokes, but, like, uh, it's like, why is there a machete on the stage? And all that, all that shit. So fucking, he comes up and we've got that song Bootlickers. He's like, let's uh, let's feel out the crowd before we play Bootlickers yeah. tonight. Which, yeah, we played it and we didn't get murdered. So yeah, no, it was so. 
the promoter there sucked. It was the only bunk show. That promoter straight up was trying to uh, get everybody in on this like pyramid scheme of oh, his, God. like this like card thing, where literally he would come up. We were in the middle of playing a song, like, uh, and he comes up and he go he goes like this. <laughs> and we just stopped and he's like I just want to remind everybody to go ahead and make sure you purchase that card and blah blah, blah. like fucking like <laughs> you stopped us in the middle of the fucking set <laughs> it was supposed to be this punk fest right oh, so we were excited yeah. to play it we get there no, we were the only punk band the band that played after us was a country band shit uh, almost nobody was fucking there the dude was just there to try to get people to buy his fucking shit the BFE rock club I'm calling you out yeah, yeah, like it, it was bad. Like we didn't get paid. We didn't even get any drinks. Yeah, um, wow. they, yeah, yeah. They they charged fifteen the, at the door. Enough people came in, and, and like then it, we we're sitting there. We didn't get a free drink. They were trying to be like, make sure you tip your bartenders. Like motherfucker, like I'm the band. What are you talking about? Like you're yeah, not paying so, it. I can't get a drink. So we were supposed to open up for the headliner on the main stage. I'm like, oh shit, this is badass. Fucking punk fest opening for the headliner on the main stage. Um, we get there. The stage is huge, and it like the, the setup was fucking awesome. Right. Um, sound was great. And then turns out the headliner is just a local cover band. <laughs> <laughs> then the other the other local cover band they had playing that night threw a fit, apparently, and pushed us to like playing after the fucking weird guy with the machete. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, yeah. So the dude with the machete, Classic. he goes up. It's the weirdest fucking shit I've ever seen. So he goes up and he's sound checking. He's got a guitar and the sound guy's like, hey, uh, like play a G chord for me. And the dude's like, he's like, do you know how to play a G chord? And he's like. So the dude barely played guitar. Yeah, his amp, <laughs> his amp was like this big. But he's got a bunch of shit on stage, so he just started stabbing a fucking pinata with a machete, <laughs> and just like, he, and then he'd go up, and there would be like discordant noise, and he'd just go like, ah, and then stab shit, and then fucking he threw it out on like onto the floor, and the pe the people that work. This worked, is art. Yeah, the people, the people that worked there had to come sweep it up. I was like, that's fucked up, man. Like your show's making them do extra work. The shoulders just. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, BFE Rock Club. Don't 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 play there. Don't oh, play there. Man, that you sounds like a shit I kind of want to play there now. You want to play there? Yeah. I was gonna say you'll get green room. The, the club <laughs> itself is fucking awesome, right? Like yeah, it has I, so I shouldn't much say potential, don't play there. I just mean it's don't work just with seems that like, uh, And I guess they were saying it used to be like a legendary place for shows, and I can huh. totally see it, right? Like you go in there and you're like, oh yeah, this is freaking legit, right? And then I guess the people running it, and the promoters where, are just where fucking was that? full of shit. That's so it's in a Jersey Village. Um, so like northwest Houston. Oh, okay. I found out how big, how fucking big Houston. Is. Yeah. So Adam was like, like, oh, there's this restaurant I want to go to in Houston. We need to go there. And I'm like, well, where is it? Because it could be three hours away from the venue. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and he yeah. looked it up and yeah, it was like I, an hour away. Yeah. I just I learned that. Like, it wasn't you can even drive on the other side for two of hours and yeah. still be in yeah. fucking Houston. That's why. Yeah. They build out. Dude, it's just Texas, bro. Like they're the. All the things they say about it, like about how big it is, it's fucking true, dude. Yeah. I like how everybody from Texas like collects their own souvenirs. So you go to anybody's house in Texas, they got like <laughs> yeah. souvenirs from San Antonio and Austin yeah, and like Bucky's. we went all the way to Dallas last yeah, week. Bucky's. It was it was exciting. It was a Buc vacation. Bucky's paraphernalia. <laughs> yeah. Get some of that so pussy meat. <laughs> you guys got uh you guys played kick butt coffee, right? Yeah, we played it yes. twice. We played the first time and they liked us so much they're like, Hey, we've got a music fest, will you guys jump on that? We did that. Got to meet capitalist kids out there. Okay, I was wondering if you guys played it twice. Yeah, yeah, that's, that was really. We cool. were only supposed to play it once, but they asked us to come back for their Saturday one because we had an off day on that one. Joe actually uh, put together like a uh, a playlist on Spotify of all the bands that were on our tour that mm -hmm. had music available on Spotify. There was a couple bands that didn't, but um, uh, one of the bands that we all took a liking to was the Wee Beasties, mm -hmm. and they're based out of there in uh, Austin, Texas. And so uh, we found a song in specific. You want to tell them about the, the song? <clears throat> the song was uh, Shotgunning Beers in the Parking Lot. And I was uh, joking around because it gets really stuck in your head. It's a really catchy uh, like chorus. So I was like, we should shotgun beers. I was like, our way to say hello to them. <laughs> yeah, like an introduction it was, to, was that, to the Wee Beasties. That was yeah, Kick Butt? Yeah. yeah. Kick Butt's fucking amazing. That was the cool. Yeah. The staff there is fucking amazing They're, and hospitable. Like the live streaming of the show and all yeah, that. Yeah, that's cool. Really cool. Uh, we got some. We got some. Some cool things. Apparently, Gio's trying to teach Joe how to podcast over here. Yeah, <laughs> trying to teach me how to be a marketing yeah. agent. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, go ahead. How to segue? Into do that. do some promos. Talk so, about what you got going on. It, how how we introduced ourselves uh, was we have these shotgun tools that we printed. Um, we just walked up like, hey. 
do you want to shotgun some beers in the parking lot? And he's like, yeah. And then, uh, <laughs> so we just literally like walked over to the, I mean, we did it in a sanctioned area, suitable for drinking. And, Nowhere uh, near kick butt coffee. Yeah, yeah. Other side of town and everything. And that was, before we even introduced ourselves, we just decided to go out next to the van and shotgun some beers in the parking lot. <laughs> in the parking lot of a Lowe's. Of a Lowe's. Yeah. Um, five miles away. Five miles yeah. at least minimum. Kick butt doesn't condone that parking lot drinking. Yeah, we would yeah. never. Never ever. disrespect no. them like that. Yeah, but yeah, are. perfect way to, to meet the wee beasties, right? Yeah, they uh, thought it was kind of cool, I think. Unless they're just like laughing at us now. No, no, they're 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 freaking <laughs> they're awesome and uh, fucking weirdos. So we mm-hmm. we hooked them up, yeah, with the the shotgun tools, and we actually brought some for you guys as well. So enjoy. Ready. Joe three uh, yeah. D printed those with his brain, his very own mind, his very TV own tragedy. brain. I don't wow. use a machine. I just just look at the counter and it just starts printing. I will That's keep impressive. this because I'm notorious for needing to shotgun a beer on the go. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're telling us all about how much you love to shotgun. Beer. Yeah, Justin doesn't beer. understand how shotgunning works. He doesn't get why well, how, it's different. So, okay, so why? Beer. So why is it different? Because like, the air. There's so, a hole. There's a hole no, at the top you, of the can. You put a hole here, and then when you open this one, it creates like an air like. Flow. Yeah, so you don't have so to worry about the air trying to fill up the can while you're chugging it. It just comes in through the other hole, so it goes down super fast. It shotguns it. Down. So you yeah, know like how like when you so, like, you know, I still I feel, don't I feel see like the point Justin not just needs like a shotgun of beer right now. You know that honestly. you could like get, get high off of eating cocaine, right? Yeah, <laughs> but like isn't it, way is faster isn't it way faster? Oh. Way better to just kind of up the nose. I, mean, I guess you're right. I guess you're right. Yeah, yeah. you know, when it, not that I would ever have done that. Yeah, I'm just thing. saying. If, you, if everything in my life can be explained to me, like, using cocaine as a reference, like, that would be... That's why like, I'm ju- here. They're like, Justin, what is driving other than, like, being on cocaine? TV like, tragedies does not contone the <coughs> use of illegal drugs uh, by irresponsible <laughs> users. Like Gio. <coughs> so, Chris, so, talk about something. Oh, You're in first or last, too. Yeah, we uh, aren't doing much. We've got a show coming up in December, though. But, yeah, we're getting ready to record some stuff. Me and big guy, he's busy uh, with It's Fine. And I got TV mm. tragedy stuff going on. So it's been kind of on the back burner, but we're still doing stuff. Mm. Wrote some Alec new songs. Too. Yeah, and we added Alec from Black Mountain Moonshine and It's Fine. Uh, gosh, shit, that's going to be like two years now. I love, yeah, I love how many bands are just like the off, just like little, like fucking 10 people in 10 different fucking yeah, bands. It's like shit. Very incestual, but it's sick. It is. That's dope. It's cool. Are, are you in anything else, Joe, or are you just TV tragedy? I'm monogamous. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wait, no, I have out. a band that refused to let die that was in before TV Tragedy. Mm-hmm. But, um, we're bringing it back soon. <laughs> TV, so, TBD. <clears throat> so you're experimenting in your monogamous relationship. Yeah, like we're, we're trying new things. You know, yeah, see yeah. how it works out. Bring a, bring a toy or um, another <laughs> band member <laughs> yeah. into the room. Well, yeah, that band is a, a taste of freedom. It's actually one of our splits with TV Tragedy. It was kind of funny. It was both bands. So. Yeah, it was cool as fuck. More of like a ska punk. Nice. I like how so Steve's over here trying to switch the camera angles, right? But he's still looking at you to not make it look like he's actually like reaching over and doing <laughs> shit. I'm not doing a very good job of it, so I'll, I'll, I'll have to edit it. Later. It's all good. Like everybody, like I've I've been hit up a bunch of times. They're like, "Have Steve on, have Steve on." Yeah, no. And no, now no, like it's just be like, okay, yeah, no, don't have. Steve yeah, on and now it's just what you see. This we is what it. you guys get. So what is the craziest thing if you had to boil it down to one on tour? That you guys saw on the road. Can I tell the dog story? I won't. I won't name names. Yeah, you can I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'll tell. So we had this <laughs> existential ass moment. So we go to stay with somebody Steve knows in Texas. Yeah, and, so it's like, so I mean, I'm not gonna name his name, but my best friend in high school, like we used to go to fucking shows when we were 14 years old. So first of all, I'm immediately threatened because he's like, this is my old best friend. So I was like, oh, no, buddy. But <laughs> we get there. He lives on this this big that property. Happened to me on tour too. He, li- he, li- <laughs> he lives on this big property and there's other farms around and fucking he's got a, he's like, oh, I've got a dog that's in a cage. Um, cause every time it gets out, it has to kill something. So Gene makes this joke about like, oh, don't let it taste man flesh. <laughs> so, Uh-oh. so yeah, we're sitting, there, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so we're sitting, we're sitting in there on the couch and he's got the dog out and he goes to put the dog back in the kennel and the dog is playing around at first. And then you know that, that sign when a dog actually gets like, like their tongues like shake and shit like that. So this dog started, like, eating this guy. And he's like, no, I got it. I got it. It's fine. So we're, we're sitting there. There's blood. And, like, uh, so we're just, I'm just like, well, I'm about to watch a man die or something like that. And we're just calmly sitting on a couch. Yeah, I, I, I finally stand up. And I'm like, here, puppy. Like, I don't know what the fuck yeah, I'm going to do. Yeah, we don't know what to do. Like, maybe, you know. So yeah. we're sitting there just looking at all this, all this blood and shit. And I go, to, I go to stand up. And I was like, fuck it. I'm getting out of this room. 
And his wife's like, no, don't open the door because the dog will get out. And it's like, lady, like, uh, <laughs> you, you're not going to tell me, like, oh, just sit down and watch this man be eating, eating alive. <laughs> so finally, I just, just open it up. He gets the dog all situated. And then he comes out and he's apologizing to us. He's like, man, I'm so sorry for that. I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, he's like clearly shaken and shit. But watching no. it, what? Watching a man get fucking just like chewed on by a dog. Yeah, yeah. like the, yeah, the dog was like actually going for him and actually like. Yeah, yeah, it, was, it, was it was pretty gnarly. Yeah, I've never, I've never actually seen a problem dog. Yikes. So that was my favorite kind of injury though. Like when they're just like staying calm the whole time. Like, oh, it's fine. No, I don't need yeah. this arm anyway. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's just, just a touch wound. Yeah, he, he's like, yeah, no, but he's like, it's this. fine. He does this all the time. He's just like fucking pulling <laughs> at his fucking neck and shit <laughs> and dragged behind. It's just how shooting blood out of his. That's how we play. It's great. Yeah, he loves this. So, what about you guys? We had a couple crazy things, like uh, Denver. Yeah, Denver is, takes the cake for me. What happened in Denver? Uh, we uh, right when we pulled up, well, we drove around, hit dispensaries, went to like an arcade bar, just got high as shit, and cruised around Denver, which is just pure chaos in that fucking city. It's just chaotic. We pull up to the venue, we all get out, go inside, or for a second, come back out, and just. Right as we walk out, this lady just gets creamed by a car in the, cross, in the crosswalk. Just like, welcome homeless, to Denver. <laughs> homeless lady crossing the street just gets just smacked by this car, and it's just screaming. Oh, just screaming. while like looking at her phone, <laughs> like, like ah, she's got, I've like, got a live tweet. This yeah, like texting people, and just like it was going live on Instagram. Yeah, yeah, it was a lot. Well, it was better because I think it was like her son just came like. Came in hot in his like lifted truck, like jumps out, puts a robe on to then get yeah, in the cops' face. Puts a bathrobe on to start talking shit to the police. <laughs> like he had to look his then, finest when he hopped out. And, and then they like, end up like laughing. Yeah, police start shoving him back out of the way, and then <laughs> like, we like turn to smoke a cigarette, look back, and they're all laughing. We're just like, what the fuck yeah. is going yeah. on? Well, and like the, just the ultimate lack of reaction by everybody else around. Yeah, this is a normal day. Like, oh, this is just Denver. <laughs> mm. <laughs> like, uh, what the fuck? Like nobody. Gave a fuck. Like, one person ran out of Taco Bell that was yeah. right there and started yeah. talking shit to the driver, like, what are you fucking stupid? You know, like, but that was pretty much it. Like, everybody, everybody else is like, is this, this like, is Tuesday. What are you yeah, talking about? Yeah, well, like, the people at the bar that we were playing at, like, they like just, like, looked over there. Like, mm. They just kept going on their day. Like, oh, oh another day, I guess. Yeah. Even, like, some guy came walking by, like, eating, because it was next to, like, a pizza shop. And he's walking by. He's like, oh, what happened over there? Like, awesome oh, lady got hit. He's like, oh. And he just, like, turns around and walks the other <laughs> way. Like, like, okay. Pizza. Yeah, he's like, oh, cool. Like, the, th- the theme today is people just being nonchalant in fucking life threatening situations. Yeah, like, it's my favorite. People just like, yeah. yeah. So, what was the runner up? Because you said there's a couple things. Yeah, I well, wouldn't, yeah. Oh, um, I mean, I can't talk about one of them. We can, we can talk about our tour stories at any time. I'm more so wanted to hear. hear I y'all. guess, well, this one's not so much crazy. <laughs> I can't talk about certain things. This one's not so much crazy. It is just like, holy shit status, but it was kind of like the cherry on top of our fucking tour Mm -hmm. was we, when we got into Vegas, uh, we hit up Cody from Asteroid uh, Records. Mm -hmm. Um, Shouts out to Asteroid M. Uh, He opened his fucking doors to us right away. Like we didn't even communicate with him at all. Like during the tour about stopping by his house. But the first person we called was him when we got into Vegas, you know, opened his doors to us. We hung out. Um, he actually, you know, invited us to the Punk Rock Museum in Las Vegas. Mm. So, uh, you know, we played at the Double Down that night. That was uh, our last night of the tour. You know, badass show at the Double Down in Las Vegas. Yeah, and he had us do another Asteroid session just kind of out of nowhere because he had everything set up, which yeah. was way cool. Yeah, recorded a session there, which you can find on YouTube, Asteroid M Sessions. <laughs> um, shouts out. But, uh, yeah, we... Uh, the next morning, we went to the Punk Rock Museum all together with Cody, and uh, Fat Mike just happened to be there recording a podcast. Uh, Fucking, you know, awesome time. We was just kind of... Like Fred Armisen? Yeah, Fred Armisen yeah. was there, too. Yeah, that yeah was I was cool. kind of... That's why I looked to you guys. I was like, what was his name? <laughs> uh, he's yeah. fucking funny, but yeah. Uh, so we did kind of did our own little tour of the place while they were doing the podcast, and uh, we, we go upstairs and start playing around on some fucking just legendary musician's gear, right? And and that in itself is just an awesome time. Mm. And together as a band, end of our tour, you know what I mean? And the the dude up there in the room, I forget his name, but he was fucking cool. Yeah, man. he was way cool. Long hair? Uh, short hair. Yeah, short hair. Guy. It wasn't long, yeah. He was kind of managing the, the like equipment the up there room, yeah. in the band room. 
But he uh, <clears throat> he was like, hey man, you know, you might you guys might be able to jam in the Pennywise room, and that like didn't even occur to me at that point. Yeah, so we're like, like even a possibility, huh? So Chris and I go down, you know, to to go find Mike, and he's just at the bar, and uh, he's he's at the bar, you know, talking to the bartender uh, about how grape jelly is for poor people or something like that, <laughs> peanut butter jelly sandwich. And uh, so I tap on the, on the shoulder, and I was like, excuse me, Mr. Fat Mike, sir. Uh, <laughs> you know, the homeboy upstairs said that, you know, it might be cool if we jam in the Pennywise room, and he's like, fucking do it, man. So we're like, hell yeah. So at that time, <clears throat> this is the crazy part. At that time, not only did we get, like, all giddy inside and get to go and fucking play here, but Fat Mike gets a very interesting phone call uh, from a member of a band that we will not mention that just recently became unmentionable. So mm. that's all I'll give oh, yeah. So I wonder who you're talking about. Yeah. That's so weird. Yeah. Mm. So uh, Green that, Day? That, yeah. call, <laughs> that call happened right as we set in our, our uh, gear and stuff. But perfect cherry to the end of the tour was we got to fucking play a song in the Pennywise room in the punk rock museum through that okay. shit on the internet, like a bunch of views, all that stuff. Just like, it was really fucking cool. And, and uh, that was great. Yeah. I watched that. I'm like, wow, these motherfuckers are playing. Yeah, Joe, right. Joe so Escalante badass. from the Vandals was giving a tour while we were playing that song. And <laughs> everyone's just like, what the fuck is going on? Cause nobody could hear anything except us playing. So security comes like sprinting over and like, Oh shit, that sounds pretty good. Like we'll let him finish the song. Yeah. Like, fuck yeah. <laughs> And she uh, was in there like, let's play the whole fucking set. And like, <laughs> start with one song, man. We'll figure it out from there. So, so uh, apparently, Fat Mike did not tell anybody that what was going on. So, you know, security is scrambling around. There is a fucking tour going on yeah. at that time. So at the end of the song, I, I was like, I swear Fat Mike gave us permission. And the security guard was like, oh, yeah, this is just another day at the office. Yeah, this shit happens yeah. All that's the that's working for Fat Mike, dude. Don't worry that's about awesome. it. You guys are good. Um, so yeah, that, yeah, that was cool. That was really cool. So I got two things. Shouts out to Cody once again. Yeah. What's shout that? out Cody. I got two things. So Justin got a text message while I was at the table and he answered it. So I feel like he needs to read. That oh thing. no, oh, it's, yeah. the rule. it's yeah. my ex-wife it's yelling like, at me. Oh, it's my, oh, yeah. It's, yeah, it's, yeah it's, I, but is it a that's the only reason I, yeah, it's my ex-wife <laughs> being mad at me. <laughs> so I'm not, I'm not reading so, that cause she'll, <laughs> she'll find out about it and she'll be like, you're talking about me on your... She'll probably yell at me for even saying that. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I like she just yells at you for everything. So, yeah, like, I mean, what's, what's the difference, right? Uh, second thing is, does anybody need a, a refill of beverages? I got some over here if you want. Do you? Uh, I say yeah. everybody yeah. shotgun <laughs> one. What? Hey, we can do that. Hey, Andy, you want to grab me a <laughs> blue moon out of there? You say Andy? Yeah. Oh yeah, Andy. Shouts is, out is, to Andy, everybody. Andy's yeah. here for all of the uh, all the podcasts. He he's the the third cameraman. Andy shows up last minute. Like, I'll text him the morning of, and I'm like, oh, yeah, I forgot we're shooting oh, yeah, a podcast. You got any interest? And he shows up with professional ass gear. Thank you very much, Andy. You can immortalize it. Um, Hi, Andy. Professional ass <laughs> gear, like, comes over here, hangs out, drinks some beer with us, like, no questions asked all the time. Is it, so. is it uh, heart mark photography? What is. Yeah, what's your, what's, what's your, your plug? Yeah. Andy Hartmark Andy, ph- photography. Andy Hartmark photography. Sh- Shit's great. Like the podcast looks great because of, because of the shit. Do you want to? Yeah. Yes. Okay, that's the button. All right. That's photography. the button. I need a reacher for that. You want to? You want to talk give, about? Everybody give Andy a round of applause. Yeah. yeah. Andy is for real. He's taking amazing photos of TV tragedies. Yeah. He's, yeah. For sure. I was in the pit just holding up his camera. Yep. And he got some dope ones from the pit at, when we played the Beast. Uh, the beast. Yeah. You want yeah, you want to talk about you want to talk about the Scooty Boys? <laughs> the like ghost, the TV tragedy. I want to hear another TV tragedy story, and then we can talk about the Scooty. Hold Boys. on, real quick though, because the Beast ghosts TV tragedy. I just want to make that clear publicly. <laughs> I just ran. I just every time I just ran a show there the other night. Time. Every time we hit them up, they ghost us. Hey Beast, keep it up. <laughs> what? <laughs> Don't WTF. let us play ever. Yeah. yeah. Do not let us. W T F. If I ever see TV tragedy at the Beast, uh, like I'll never go hell, to the Beast. Hell again. is frozen over. Yeah. If I ever see it, I I won't respect your establishment if you let it happen. <laughs> yeah, you got to protect your brand at this point. You know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> All right. So besides uh, it's just not Rock the Rock Museum, what was your favorite show that you played? Yeah, talk about like some doesn't have to be crazy. What were like good shows or good bands? I'm stealing this one. It's hard. Georgia. 
had like the best lineup. Ever. I love how enthused like, you were for yeah, that. No, yeah. I've been Give him that I've been thinking yeah, about man, this. Really, one. Atlanta was the coolest. Uh, spot. Shouts out to Close Enough. <clears throat> yeah, we had Close Enough playing. Badass band. They could, the whole band couldn't be there, but they still pulled off like an awesome acoustic set. Yeah. Um, and then Los Ojos Muertos. They played badass band Way as sick. well. And then one of the bands I was looking forward to most on the tour was on that show the. The Handy Capitalists, they're badass. Yeah, well. that's, a that's a dope name. name. Yeah, yeah, that's a dope so name. They back it up too. Like they yeah. earned the yeah. name. They're the second really I saw that good. name, was like, hell yeah, this show's gonna be cool, and mm. it, it it delivered. It, that was my favorite show. Is in like the abandoned like old sub, like underground subway. Yeah, like used um, to be a shit. mall, and it closed down. I think during COVID, and mm. like basically punks and artists like basically started moving in there. And the city, like, semi-sanctions it. Like, they have some power and, like, water in a couple places and stuff. But it's just, like, all underground Atlanta. Like Check it out. Atlanta. Before it was a mall, it was, like, in the old days, it was, like, a train station. Yeah. And there's, like, a brick road in there. And it's the oldest road in Atlanta, Georgia. Oh, wow. And yeah, it's, like, it's literally underground. And, yeah. And then, like, sometime before we were there, they had, like, a legit Banksy exhibit there. And, like, Banksy was, like, doing shit around there. Yeah. So there's, like, real-ass Banksy paintings, like, tagged up on the walls and shit and... Yeah. Me and Lola explored and found a room that, like, had, like, parts of his fucking art in there and shit. It's like, damn, like, legit, like, Banksy stuff. Yeah, it was that's cool. fucking awesome. It was a really cool spot. Georgia, yeah. Atlanta, Georgia yeah. is fucking cool. And the worst city I've ever dude, driven into my life. It's but the sickest the city. Yeah. Dude, don't get me wrong. <laughs> so awesome. It's sketchy as fuck. Yeah. yeah. But the whole town is, like, fucking Tony Hawk's a fucking level. Like, the, everything is skatable. <laughs> Everywhere you look, you're like, oh, dude, you could fucking, like, everything is fucking skatable. That's awesome. In, uh, an old town underground area. Yeah, that was cool. Atlanta, Georgia. I don't know what you guys call it out there, but it's fucking rad. Yeah, place. That, yeah that, at least that's my vote for yeah. the, the coolest show. Was New, was New Orleans as cool as I assume it is? I've never been there. I want to go so bad. We were so, like, in and out of there. Like we didn't really it, get to it. It happened it. really fast. Oh. Yeah. And it rained. It's too. Like, like a night when we showed up. Yeah. It raining, so. <laughs> yeah it was Nights like, with me. It was like 95 degrees with like 95% humidity and it's fucking raining. And we just like pretty much showed up, played the show, and left town the same night. So we like drove through Bourbon Street and it was all like really fucking cool looking. Yeah. And it's like, oh, yeah, and no one knows what stoplights are in New Orleans. They yeah. just or keep going. They're, they're more of a suggestion. Yeah. Out there. yeah. We watched yeah. a guy like pull up on over the curb into like oh, a, a grassy the, medium. Oh yeah. <laughs> nice. And just like get out of his truck, go into the fucking bar, get like a mixed drink, come out and get back in his car and, and, and just, just drive off the median yeah. and just like Walt's just in the middle of the road, just parked like <laughs> yeah. probably not even the hazards on it. <laughs> Oh, so, that's a good spot to stop. <laughs> I was, yeah, I was open, born in New Orleans. Like, New Orleans. Drink. So yeah, is that New normal Orleans. then? You were born yeah. in New Orleans? So, uh, so that's one right, of my were. mom's friends, uh, she opened a drive through daiquiri stand. <laughs> Makes so sense. you just go through there and they give you a fucking yeah. alcoholic beverage in a foam cup with a straw in it. And I guess what they do is they they tear half of the straw paper off and leave the top on there. Yeah, so uh, then it's all legal. But yeah, it's a, you know, Is that like some kind like of loophole? Thing. I guess yeah, so. So, so you just go through the drive through you get your fucking alcohol, and you just drive yeah. off with it. Yeah, this dude's like sipping the drink, opening yeah. his truck, <laughs> yeah. and drives away. People yeah. like drinking just out happened. there for sure. It's not much incentive to yeah. not drink it. Yeah, and they were like, they were like, oh, yeah, feel free to park your van just right there, like on the median in front of the fucking venue. We're just like, uh, we'll park up We're there. good. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, park we'll go up a little bit. It's road. a lawless yeah. wasteland out yeah. here. So. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> It was crazy, like, driving over the Mississippi River and just, like, everything's so fucking green down there. Yeah. Everything is green. Like, every tree, it was so crazy seeing all that. Yeah. You could Shouts chew, out to, uh, chew through the fucking air, but... <laughs> bullshit Machine? Yeah. What was the other band? Uh, no, I'm the one that... Yeah. See, I you were just years. talking shit, too. I, was, I don't know. Too. They were just really shit, mad man. they weren't allowed to play my drums. They were yeah, talking we don't even get to play your drums. <laughs> like, <laughs> Can we use your touring band's drums? Yeah, they were just like, hey, can we use your guys' drums? And I was like, on the third no. Band? No, like, we're. <laughs> second, third night of tour, I'd really rather not, you know? Got a lot of shows coming up. And they were just like, can't wait to see this drum set that no one's allowed to play, this coveted drum yeah, set. Yeah, coveted like, drum set. <laughs> Fuck you guys. Did they, t- did they say that? Yeah, yes. they were just like just walking around talking shit. It was cool, though. They played, they played good music. They were yeah. good, and. <laughs> I can't remember the name. <laughs> I was ready to say bullshit. I don't remember the name. I'm not trying to save face. Yeah. 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 They were good, though. God damn it. Well, I was ready to correct you on bullshit machine because that's what you forgot last time. I was like, yeah, yeah I have this one ready. On and then stage, I one. like a jackass. Give it up for I bullshit. Always, <laughs> what I, what I want to start doing is I, I want to start, because we, on our set list, I want to start having the band names on the yeah, set list. Yeah, we did that in FOL for a long time because we kept doing that. When we played in Nebraska, they had, like, little different colored... Uh, 
flyers printed out for that night. Yeah. And they were just like all over the, the right when you walked in. And on the other side, there was another show flyer on it. So what I did is I just grabbed like three or four of those and put them in front of my mic stand <laughs> so that I had all the bands right there. Did you have so the I'd right like, side up though? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> thankfully. It's like naming the next nine. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> give it up for ICP. <laughs> yeah. Uh, those guys were rad, right? Yeah, that's about an The sound has really changed cool a little. <laughs> <laughs> I do want to shout out another spot too. We didn't play it technically. It was our one day off on tour, but it actually turned out to be a really good time. Is in uh, it was Little Rock, right? Yeah. Arkansas. Yeah. Yeah. Of all places, Arkansas, we just stopped at some random, is a karaoke dive Yeah, it was bar? just like karaoke night. We're just like, oh, let's find a bar. We got to crash somewhere in between, it was like between Atlanta and Tulsa or something, I think. Yeah. Yeah. And so we just picked Little Rock, Arkansas, just like on the map. Like, all right, we're passing through there. Well, first it was Memphis, and we went to Walmart in Memphis. We're just like, we're not <laughs> nope. here. Yeah. Like, we got to get, <clears throat> we got to get the fuck out of town. Like, <laughs> I don't think they want us here. No, nah, dude. When so. we, we Didn't we stop at, like, Harbor Freight there? Yeah, Harbor Freight That's and right. Walmart. It started and raining and a shit. smoke and, like, shop. And, there's, yeah. like, a gangster looking at us. We yeah. added casters to uh, his amp, actually. Yeah, he told him, you guys, like, just lot. stopped and fucking bought Yeah, them. just like, yeah, we're yeah. just gonna do here. Borrowed a drill from Home Depot. <laughs> and now I'm so jealous that, like, his amp is so smooth. He has, like, big-ass, like, three-inch wheels now. Uh, yeah, that's what I, I'm yeah, rocking. We're, we finally talked Adam into getting that shit. Cause I have, like, the like the one and a half. Yeah, like, they have yeah, yeah, just don't cut it. I mean, no. you go, like, yeah. even at Yucca <clears throat> Tap Room, you go push yeah. it through the parking lot. That's the one time you get to do it. You guys have the fucking heaviest gear known to man. You have orange. All the yeah. pegs. <clears throat> yeah. That's because you, I mean, you so, just need to get good. That's why. Join the okay. swoletariat. You know what I mean? <laughs> it just makes you sound good. <laughs> I, had, I had to stop playing through the ampeg for that specific reason. And so the the orange rig is like half the fucking weight. So Yeah. This yeah. is like. Well, yeah, yeah, you actually downsized in weight. <laughs> unlike. Unlike some Are you telling me I'm here. getting fat? Huh? No, no. You're, you're, oh, the gear. You're reading lines. That Am I? I'm just saying, like, <laughs> I don't know. Those pictures your wife took last night don't make me feel that great about my body. <laughs> oh, God, yeah, that picture's bad. Well, that was yeah. after, what, like 12 scotches? Yeah. Mr. Ron <laughs> well, on, over here. well on my way to my 18th scotch. Yeah. <laughs> I forget, uh, yeah, Little Rock was cool. We met a lot of cool people there. Yeah, um, what was the captain's band? The, the sludge band? Uh, we um, there was a, a one kid we met, and his band is uh, Mammoth, Mammoth Caravan. Caravan. And yeah. They were really cool dudes, and the other band is Sea Hag, and it's just like swamp sludge, like swamp doom. Yeah, and they were just I can like, get down with that. like swamp people, and everybody's just sweating. Yeah, so much. This was in New Orleans. Thick. No, it was in uh, Little Rock. Little Rock. That, oh, that sounds like the most New Orleans band. Yeah, it was <laughs> like, and it was just like they, it just they were cra- they were so nice. They were they walked up like, hey, you guys a band? I'm like, yeah, just passing through for the night on tour, and like, oh shit, and. Bought us drinks and hung out and introduced us to a bunch of people to get shows out there the next time we rolled through, and it was cool. Cool yeah, spot. It was a great time. Some dude clocked us as being in a band. We stopped by, like, this little guitar shop, right, to buy an acoustic guitar. <laughs> and uh, this dude's like, you guys are clearly a band, right? And, and we're like, yeah. And he's like, you know what? In the actual guitar sh- shop, he's like, there's a shower and stuff back there. He's like, you guys can crash here if you want. Yeah, like, immediately, <laughs> immediately. Immediately. Within five like... minutes. He didn't know us, have a conversation with us, but he was willing to just let these strangers stay in his music shop. <laughs> oh, my God. He never the shower, though. That's yeah. too, way too soon. Yeah, yeah literally. Like, he, didn't even, he, like, he didn't even, like, he didn't even be like, are you a good band? Are you, like, <laughs> yeah, like yeah. Yeah. what kind of music like, yeah. do you play? Yeah. Yeah. Like, You're a band. Well, we have a shower. Yeah. yeah. We have a shower. <laughs> you can crash here. What kind of band? I was like, oh, we specifically write songs about stealing from music shops. So. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we've yeah. taken a shower every day. Yeah. <laughs> we, we're not TV tragedying it up in there. Yeah, no, we were yeah. staying at my mom's house. Otherwise, we probably would have. But, like, uh, yeah, my mom lives outside of San Antonio in a town called Banderas. So, that yeah. that was the the bougie place that well, you I saw. Think that's us the, I think that's the, the one surface. thing. Like if we if any of us were staying at any of our mom's house, we I would be like, yeah, let's shower before we get there. <laughs> she told it was funny. But that's she, it. It's funny she told us because she, she's like conser- oh, yeah. she's like conservative and shit. And like obviously we were in a super conservative part, so she's like, we're going out to hit the town, and she's like, you know, you guys. Uh, be careful out there. She's telling us basically not to be gay and do gay shit because, like, it's like don't do any of that liberal yeah, shit no, out this here. This is like, a cowboy town. Yes, yeah, so this like, is a cowboy town. Behave. You can't. Yeah, I don't I'm take like, too mom, kindly to that. Yeah, around like, here. I'm just, yeah. like I'm just gonna get out on the street and start yeah, jacking yeah. Adam off or something. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like, mom, I'm like forty something fucking years old. Like, what do you think I'm gonna do? We're gonna go like, you know. Trash a fucking pizza shop. <laughs> yeah. What do you think I'm gonna do? But thanks for the warning. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, how do you think we felt fucking touring the Bible Belt basically with yeah. oh, a fucking man. big pentagram on the back of the van and says six 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 on the side? Yeah. Like, well, only only one spot was kind of awkward though. That one after um after Om no after Tulsa. 
driving yeah. to uh, Aaron's brother's house, and we stopped at like just looked it up truck stop gas station on the bathroom is pretty or with the bathroom is what I pretty much Googled every night after the show. Like, how far can we drive? Crash in the van, make tomorrow's ten hour drive, like a seven or eight hour drive. So we had to just look up a truck stop. It's like, all right, hour and a half out of town. We'll just drive there. We'll crash. And we get there, and it's just like a gas station on a farm. And it's like, <laughs> mm, this is, I don't know about yeah. this. Like, this, yeah. this feels a little weird. Like, the whole parking lot's dirt, even at the gas yeah. pumps. Like, there's yeah. no concrete uh, None inside. of us were like, yeah. let's sleep here. Yeah, so <laughs> we're like, all right, let's, let's at least go to the bathroom, and we'll see if we can get any further. We walk in, and like, like record would have stopped if it was playing. Everybody just turns and looks. <laughs> They're just like, oh, yeah, nope. Walk around the aisle, right back out the door. Just like, <laughs> I'm gonna piss next to the van, and we're just, we're gonna go. Yeah. Like, <laughs> God, it was like halfway renovated, but like it looked like they stopped renovating it like ten years ago. Like yeah. Gave up. <laughs> and there's like, like four people, and there's like three o'clock in the morning, yeah. and there's just four people in there hanging out. I was like, what the fuck? Is this? I do gotta give them some like. Praise. That was the most full shitter I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> it was like to the the seat level of just full of shit. Nice. Someone had to keep going home. in it. I only ask God for a prayer when I <laughs> yeah. when I need him and some shit. Yeah, yeah. Some, some country song. Yeah, some country song was playing like. Uh, yeah, only like, ask for God when I need him yeah, and I I'll, need him or I'll something. I pray like when that. I need help and God, I need help or yeah. something like that. This, dude, this dude's in the bathroom just. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, he requested the song. And God, like, he needs help. <laughs> yeah, he needed it. I feel uh, like at some point when it starts getting close to the rim, like you would stop shitting in it, right? That's what I'm saying. Like someone like yeah. was just like, like I could, I could still make it. Like I still. Got <laughs> so, so, like, there's there's, room. there's room. like an inch or two. We can squeeze something in there. We can get water till Wednesday. Make it last. <laughs> so, uh, do you guys encounter any police officers no. during the... Um, well, so no, but uh, apparently uh, my stepdad was messaging me the other day, and his neighbor across the street is the sheriff, <laughs> and he saw us when we were out there, and so he's like, oh, yeah, like my neighbor across the street, I forgot to tell you, he's the sheriff, and his son's a deputy, and he goes to all these punk rock shows, and I'm like, dude, like, I don't think he's going to like our music. Yeah. Right? yeah. <laughs> How's that I just, work? I hate those cops that do that shit. They're like, oh, I'm a cop, but I still listen to punks. So, so he's yeah, like, ah, yeah. fuck you. Yeah. Did you guys, you go, through the, did you guys go through the Border Patrol after El Paso? Yeah. And yeah. they yeah. just waved you right on? Yeah. Mm. Uh, we even had Gene nice. in the front seat <laughs> for yeah. one of them. Yeah. They, they stopped we, we tried to hide Gene because he's he's darker. So we're leaving. We're getting ready to leave El Paso, and I was like, we could make it through the border patrol tonight but we'll go through it at like three o'clock in the morning seems a little sketchy like there's a shell station here we'll just crash in this parking lot and we had the pen yeah so we're crashed <laughs> nobody sleeps all night everybody's just kind of hanging out outside of the van and i get out and the sun starts coming up i was like all right we'll cross the border when the sun comes up there'll be more traffic we'll kind of blend in nobody will fuck with us i had like half of a half gram cartridge on a pen i'm looking at it like it was fucking really good. Like, would a too. dog smell this? Like, if I put it in my shoe, like, would a dog smell this cartridge? And I was like, ah, it's not worth the risk. I'll throw it away. I was like, ah, fuck it. Like, let's just smoke this. So four of us just hork this fucking pen. <laughs> We're fucking... <laughs> like, <laughs> <drooling>. <laughs> it's not coming up. <laughs> and it's like, all right, let's 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 fucking go through Border Patrol now. Yeah, it looks so rough. Oh, Watch it was so bad. It? Just the four, just like, just the... one after 15 minutes, smoked this whole fucking cartridge. It was the first time I've seen you guys, like, Almost like hesitate taking it. You're yeah, like, it's like, Ugh, like borderline throwing up, crying. <laughs> Get that away from me. Okay. So we get to the border patrol like 15, 20 minutes later, just fucking zooted. <laughs> I act like I'm it. sleeping. I'm just really high. Yeah, so we like... pull up to the thing and the guy's like, hey, how's it going? I was like, all right, man, how you doing? He's like, where are you coming from? I was like, oh, El Paso, you know, Phoenix before that. He's like, where are you going? I was like, Austin. He poked his head and he was like, "Is that a mohawk?" And I was like, "Yeah, I was like, yeah, go ahead and pull over to secondary." Like, didn't oh, even, didn't no. even lose a breath, Fucking not, dude. Not like, a single step in between. Is looks that at a mouse. Mohawk mouse is just sitting over. there, mohawk up. He's like, "Yeah, go ahead and pull over." <laughs> Everybody out, like dog uh, alerted, like because you might have uh, drugs or people in the van. And I was like, "Okay." Like, do you we have either? Have people and I was in like, the van. Well, it's I mean, like, there's five of us. Yeah, in there's this six, van right six now. of us in this van right now. Like, mouse is Mexican. Yeah, so that's what it was. It wasn't a mohawk. We all get. He wanted to say, "He's like, is that a Mexican?" Yeah, pull. Is that a <laughs> mohawk? Mo <laughs> <laughs> they open the back doors and just dog just jumps right into our shit, tears through fucking everything. Oh, Diarrhea is 
all over. The <laughs> <laughs> Shit, we go to sit down, and, and the, the dog just stirs, just the stirs dog in walks the up, and Gio's like, "Oh, what's up, puppy? Oh, wait, no, a cab means those fucking <laughs> yeah. dogs too." Yeah, I was like, "Fuck that dog too." A cab means Paw Patrol <laughs> too, right. bitch. Yeah, and the, the cop just looks at me, kind of like, gives him a look. So, what are you guys, a country band? It's like, "Yep." Yeah. Uh-huh. You, you a blues band? <laughs> like, yep. Sure. Are. Southern rock, brother. <laughs> and then the dog barked, and we all just kind of stopped. You're like, yeah, so like, we're like, uh-oh. Right, and like at the time, like there's four cops out back of the van, like putting on gloves, like, just <laughs> yeah. saying the fucking word. Like, I was like undoing he my t- pants. He yeah, can't, like, yeah, he can't he wait to get his fingers like, in just you. Say so the funny. fucking word. Just one of our members before, like when we were ditching everything, just kept being like, "Oh yeah, and this. Oh yeah, and this." And they're, just, like, they're like, "Oh shit, I forgot about this." Yeah. So Rummaging just all through this the band. Like, I vacuumed away. the van before we left on tour. Like, found like five roaches. Probably vacuumed up like an eighth of shake off the carpet. Like. <laughs> <laughs> we get so much free weed everywhere we go. It's absurd. Yeah. So we were just like so scared for a second. Like, yeah. oh shit, did they, did we forget anything? Yeah. And then it's like, all right, you guys can go. Oh. That was like the sobering moment when yeah. you hear the bark, like, uh. Yeah. Like, yeah. Just one bark. And we're just Butthole like, oh. clinched. Yeah. Yeah. You ever smoke marijuana in this van? No. <laughs> what? Not what, is, what, is, what, what is marijuana? Yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah. So I made Justin eat all his fucking edibles yeah. before he got to Texas. <laughs> so yeah, like, I grew I... up in Texas, and like I, I would go on road trips all the time. I was rock climbing, and like I'd, I'd drive to Colorado and shit like yeah. that. Um, and I would get pulled over like every fucking trip, and every trip they're like, oh, do you mind if we search the vehicle? And then, you know, of course you're like, yeah, I do mind. And then you have to sit there for 30 minutes while they bring a fucking canine unit. And I'm like, yeah, like they don't fuck around out there. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. they don't even have medical marijuana. That's how fucking. Yeah. Yeah. It just I didn't even think about it because I, I had those, those sleepy time like weed gummies. Uh, so the night before we got into Texas, I slept real good. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys played Tucson the night before, right? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Our last time we went to El Paso, we thought the Border Patrol was before El Paso. So it was like our whole tour was like seventeen joints to El Paso. Like <laughs> yeah. we got to smoke these all before we get there, yeah. and then like we get there and it's like, oh, they didn't even stop us. Like we could have brought so much stuff with us. We could have <laughs> brought twenty seven joints. Dude, the bands in El Paso, um, everybody on that bill was fucking amazing. Yeah, like, yeah same with ours. God, like really everybody on that there. El Paso show, got Trash Baguette. Yeah, yeah, you yeah they them. played ours. Uh, El Paso. Bad, Did it, yeah, too. Trash Baguette. Yeah. They're so fucking good. Oh yeah. my god, they let us crash with them oh, at yeah. their. Very small, how, like we're, we asked them if we could crash, and and they were like, "We're not saying no. We're just saying we basically live in." They're like, "It's a closet, and it doesn't yeah, have like, air conditioning like or anything. It. It's all hardwood floors." And then and we're like, "Nah, fuck it. We make it work." And that was the worst night's sleep I've ever yeah, had. That but I love you guys. I slept in the jeep because, yeah. like, yeah, it was funny. Like four o'clock in the morning, I can't sleep anyway. Right. And I'm like worried about the jeep. We're like six blocks down the road, and it just seems <laughs> sketchy. I go out there, and there's like a truck, like parked, kind of weird right across the street from my Jeep, and, like, I start walking, and as soon as I get within sight, the truck, like, backs off and turns around, so I'm like, oh, okay, yeah. it's a good thing I came out here. <laughs> and so then I'm, like, trying to sleep as much as possible in this fucking uncomfortable Jeep. But yeah, the floor wasn't sketchy. very much better, but the band out there. Jeep was way better. Them. Yeah, fucking Smeg. What was it? Oh, man. That. How do you say it? What was the band's name? The it had cat. Smegma in it. Oh, uh, Smeg. Smegmaladon. Smeg- yep. They were good. Also, and then uh, Gatos Gigantes. Yeah. It's just, like... As soon as we got into Texas, because that was the first our first show in Texas, everybody slapped, and I was like almost like I was like I'm not gonna play like fucking like we're just gonna set like <laughs> yeah. But uh, that was the first time I was like, oh, I are all of the bands in Texas just better than Phoenix bands? Like <laughs> yeah, they were like they were super they're, yeah, they're, that was like, like ridiculous. That was my favorite fucking yeah. El Paso is cool. They got a cool scene there. Same with Austin. Like everybody in Austin was amazing. We yeah. ran into uh, Rad Dragon. You don't know who they are? Nope. No. Oh, okay. They played so, here. Yeah, we played one of our first shows. The first we... show we ever played together, it was a Night of the Spider show, but the first time me, Adam, Steve, and Gene ever played together was at Palo Verde in uh, Tempe. Oh, and nice. we was with them. They were touring through here. I haven't been there in a long time. Uh, are you bored? What the fuck? Uh, Gio, are, are we bored? not? I'm sorry. <laughs> Anytime he loses anything, he's just going to pull his phone out and stare at it for a long time. All right. <laughs> what do we think Are you doing? playing Grand Theft Auto? <laughs> He did this shit in the backseat um, of the van. Wait, cut it, cut it, cut so, it, cut it. It's going to be copyrighted. On the backseat of the van, right? <laughs> Full blast on his phone speakers. <laughs> so we're driving, and it's just cop sirens and gunshots. And Lola's just, like, looking in the mirror at him. <laughs> looking in, there's, like, trying so hard not to, like, just be overly mean. And she's like, man, I can't wait for the fucking day Geo discovers headphones. <laughs> <laughs> Next stop, Geo's like, I got some headphones. <laughs> 
just full blast. Like you don't you don't need the volume to play Grand Theft Auto, man. Like <laughs> Adam Adam had a great fucking like drive. The motherfucker literally just played Red Dead Redemption the entire time. Yeah, he's like, I don't know if I want to spend the. Fifty nine dollars, and then just you know, sat there. I'm going to say buys it, and then he's like, "Oh yeah, it's the best money I've ever spent." <laughs> yeah, so I just got there driving. Shouts out, Adam. Like, you, you know, Justin, check this shit out, bro. I got a PS2 emulator on my fucking phone, dude. So this shit did. It got me through yeah. tour, man. Look at that. I got. I, beat I the played game, the most so games of solitaire I've ever played in my entire fucking life. Yeah, yeah Justin, Justin played solitaire for like eight hours. For, I played solitaire for eight hours straight. Like, like <laughs> Adam's over there fucking. And I'm and yeah, and I'm in the cattle. seat behind Adam, so I'm like, I'm sitting there bored with solitaire. I look up and Adam's just like fucking yeah. like on a horse, <laughs> and I'm over there like, driving like trying to hold my eyelids open. You know, yeah. just like okay, let's yep. go across Texas. Do you feel uh, like man, you got better at solitaire? I do. I stopped losing games like toward toward the end. You know, like. I have a video I that I took I where I'm driving and just mm -hmm. panning and everybody's sleeping and I'm just driving. <laughs> and around. Did you guys, how often did you guys switch? Did you make Geo drive ever? No, just me and Lola. Man, they don't let us yeah, drive. So to be, Steve to be didn't fair, let us drive. They offer. They, everybody offers, but. Yeah, yeah I drove the whole fucking car. Yeah, Steve didn't, it's his Jeep plus, it's got like that. It's that, sketchy. That I've trailer let, stabilizer. Yeah, I let Joey drive a few times. I've driven. Yeah, Joe's driven a couple times, but yeah. But, the whole thing but I just want to establish that Geo never once helped out and drove. Not on the. He yeah. offered. He I'll did sit that. in you're the driver's him, seat. You're giving that. I just want to establish that <laughs> yes, Geo didn't. Have <laughs> the first time Geo drove my van was when it was driving it with my kids. It's like, hey, you want to get some van oh, experience? That's right. Sick, yeah. drive all my shit, and my kids over to my new house, and he's just like, uh. All right. <laughs> all right. So we're establishing Geo was annoying with that's his game right and there. didn't help drive. Mm -hmm. Got it. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, I yeah. assaulted <laughs> Joe on stage twice. at Kick Butt Coffee. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, not just once, twice. So there's yeah. video of it. I gotta find yeah. it. Right. Yeah, it's what, do you, on what do you video. mean you you ass assaulted him? Yeah, uh, you you assaulted, assaulted him. And he's not bland. Oh, I was like, we'll he's not bland. Seasoned. We'll have the he's two seasoned. sides. Why do you story. have salt on stage with <laughs> you? All right, so slugs. Basically, I I fucked up. I just accepted that answer way too quick. I was like, oh yeah, no slugs. I do have to say that you know that little stairway to get onto the stage from the side at the Kick Butt Coffee. Yeah, it's very narrow. Okay, okay. At least we can all agree on that, right? We agree that it's narrow. Yes. All right, so I accidentally fucking uh, whacked Joe in the back of the head with the head of my guitar. Oh. What were you doing, though, when you whacked me in the back of the head? I was doing stunts, okay? <laughs> I was doing a stunt. You were being a performer. There's Joe. Like, undo showy behind the back guitar, whack Joe in the back of the head yeah. to the head real quick. I mm. didn't account this lack of space <laughs> that there would be for me to swing my guitar. Yeah, we barely fully. had any. We were a four piece. You guys, yeah. yeah. I, I was like, <laughs> I might have. I might have overshot that one. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. Well, like at the same time, he also managed to like detune my guitar. So we got to play the next song. Like, and it was just a mess. Yeah, before that, he so stepped on my Geo foot. Geo fucked up the entire and... set in three seconds. We were done. <laughs> did he give? Did he give you shit afterwards? Like, why? Are you, why do you sound so like such shit? No, I gave him. What are you playing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, when we're in Tucson, I like jump off the stage and go get in the pit, and I I just. Fucking whacked Mad Mindy in the mouth <laughs> with my face. Oh, I forgot she about was that. Bleeding. Damn. That you was just looking at me, and I'm like, <laughs> oh, fuck. And That's she why she's not taking like, anybody out yet. Like, just doe eyes, right? <laughs> just, and why? runs off, and I'm like, <laughs> oh why did you do this? Why? Like, what the fuck? Why, did sir? Why? I did like you. What did I do yeah. to you? <laughs> why it was terrible. Me? I felt, I felt like so goddamn bad. It was terrible. So yeah, I'm, a, I'm sorry, but we had a heart to heart after that, and that's when I told him like, "I'll, I'll take get the fuck out of my way." I'll take <laughs> it. <laughs> it wasn't a heart to heart. He was telling me, "I'm gonna do it again." Here's you where you fucked out. up, Joe. <laughs> yeah, you were in my way. You got to watch hey, where's, out for where's me. An, where's Andy or Veronica? Would somebody does somebody love me enough to pour me another scotch? <laughs> oh, here we go. What? Scotch, scotch. You're still fucking. It's yeah, watered down. Chug, chug, chug. <laughs> Was Chug a scotch? Yeah. Ron Burgundy that was would be so I, feel, I feel like Justin needs a shotgun of beer since he doesn't know how it works. Yeah. Oh, so I literally was just going to just sip on two scotches for this. And then like, I'm going to leave like Adam drunk. You, you know, th so there's like baby beers in there, right? So you can. That's not that. What's a baby there's, beer? Uh, like a PBR. Like, you know, like, a, like not a. It's my lovely IPA wife, or, ladies and gentlemen. You know, yeah. She, uh, applause. Is this a baby? Yeah. Applause. She has to deal with seeing Geo naked. That one puts up with a lot of naked Geo. <laughs> Don't we all? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Dude, fucking, uh, 
And we had the, the, the tour killer for us started in Austin. It's already getting started again. <laughs> yeah, fucking the tour. It started in Austin. So we had an off night. And then uh, Venomous Pinks were, were playing at the Mohawk there. And we had an off night. So I hit up Gabby. And uh, I w- we were supposed to hang out with her. And she's like, she was talking about like uh, once she gets the van loaded. So we're waiting for that. And then we just got impatient. We were bored. And Steve here just sees all those, those scooters that you pay for. Yeah. So he sees that we had already been drinking. <laughs> Scooty so, boys. Yeah. So so we get in, get in fucking uh, get drunk and we ride our scooters throughout all of Austin. So uh, I'm sitting there, I was talking to Gabby, and I was like, "Oh, I'm waiting for you." And then five minutes later, she gets a picture of us on these scooters, and I was like, "Never mind, we found something to do." An hour later, she gets another picture of us in urgent care, and I was like, I, "We should have <laughs> hung out with you." <laughs> fucking so we we go back ba- go back. What the fuck are you doing? I. Why are your pants even off? I'm Geo now. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we t- So we even wrote a fucking song about it. And so we're all, we were, we, we dumb scooty we boys. We were like, we're the scooty boys. Right? So we made this yeah. whole joke about how our new band names, like, that's how we're going to introduce ourselves on stage. The scooty boys. The scooty boys. boys. But then we're in the parking lot and, and uh, we're all just driving in circles. And Adam wants to do one of those skid stops. He, he wants to skid. <laughs> right? So he like goes around. Turn, like the... Yeah, he goes around. He goes around, comes in at full Showing fucking speed. Yeah, he's like full fucking speed. Full speed and goes to do it and just fucking falls and fucks his shoulder up. Yeah, he bad. fell and like hits the ground. And I just see his arm go. Oof. And like lands on his side. And Was I'm it like, slow motion? Yeah. Like, oh. Yeah. So like I, he, it's right in front of me. I only <laughs> oh, even God. think Justin saw it. Justin's like way back there yeah. trying to catch up to him. And I see him just whack. And I was like, oh, shit, like that's <laughs> not good. Especially, you know, we he to- fucking concussed himself at uh, trunk space. <laughs> then he got run over by a car. I mean, car, uh, Chevy he got, Spark. He got hit by a Chevy Spark. <laughs> yeah. so, so he, got, he, he got hit by a Chevy Spark. And then this happens, and I'm like, this motherfucker. Yeah, it's just, it wasn't a bad thing. But we, so we end up in the ER, uh, or in urgent care, and he goes back there and uh, fucking like talking to the doctor, and he's just like, he's like, it's like, give it to me straight, doc. Will I ever rock again? <laughs> <laughs> so we're, we're fine. He actually ends up being able to play. What happened is we go to play the second time at Kickback Coffee, and uh, his shoulder like sucks. So he's like, "I'm gonna take it easy on stage," which he did. But uh, up in that he green tried to take it easy, but you know Adam. Yeah, he up in the, yeah, he's up not in, good at half assing yeah. anything. So. Up in that green room, uh, they put an ice chest there with a bunch of beers for the bands. Yeah, wait, wait, so, wait, wait. There's a green there's a room, room at Kick Kick Butt? Coffee. Oh yeah, yeah. I forgot yeah. to mention that to you guys. He told me that last night, and I, I thought the Son same of a thing. Bitch. Say, what? Yeah, it's a nice ass one. We got there. They had like uh, like a bunch of vegan what pizzas. The fuck? We were and beers. outside. Yeah. yeah, I hung out outside and went. They not they shot fed us and bought us beers. Yeah, we had free pizza, free beers. Yeah, the green room had like pizza. Grimace, you got some splaining to do. <laughs> but but he's going detail. he's gonna walk it's it's down there at the back, so it it's lifted. You have to take stairs to get to it. But they put the ice chest like right next to the fucking stairs. So Adam was walking after we played. Here's the foreshadowing, by the way, coming into full effect. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, the green room. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah. <laughs> Adam, stop go. talking about you. It was it was but just my, an ill fated trip. So he beginning. fell down the stairs. Yeah. He no fell down more movies before the trip. Adam. So he fell no down more. fell down the stairs, fell on his shoulder. My favorite way that uh fucking Steve described it to me, Steve's like Steve comes up to me and Steve's like, Well, tour's over on his way. And he's like, Adam just Tyler Durdened himself down some stairs. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it like it was bad it was bad as fuck. So Adam so didn't after even after he fucked up on the scooter, then he fell down the yeah, stairs. Yeah. So, so he looks at me, he just comes up to me and he's like, he's like just ghost white. And he's like, <laughs> I just fell down the stairs. And I'm like are you okay? And then I see his shoulder and it's just fucking hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, hmm. like, oh shit, like that's bad, dude. Uh. And then I turned around to talk to Justin and I turned back around and now he's green and I guess his arm just sucked it back in there. <laughs> he said it, but he felt like this like, <laughs> and it just goes back in and he's like, oh God. He's so like, he's uh, fucking uh, Superman. No. Yeah, I was like, yeah, he's he like, human? I need to go home. <laughs> That, that yeah, so he didn't even sense, he, dude. he didn't even ride back with us that night. He just got a took a flight back was, to Phoenix. We yeah, was fucking we, we terrible. And in, now, in all honesty, man, recover soon because that shit sucks. And yeah. you fucking did all you could, man. You mm. played it until the, literally the wheels fell off. So <laughs> yeah, right now you, you took the wheels off yourself. But the same thing. Yeah. he got the memo that <laughs> it wasn't a half day. He, yeah. he slashed his own tires. Yeah. Like, oh, I don't know what to do now. <laughs> yeah. So kudos. That makes up for all the the fucking padded carpets. <laughs> and the the 
<laughs> oh yeah, so, so I, I got the padded carpets because Adam got fucked up. If, so if Adam was the only one that like suffered from that, that's fine. Yeah, he that makes up for, for the all the, the silky pillowcases <laughs> and the yeah the, the fans, little the people standing there fan complimentary them. lotion. It was like, yeah, it's like those first those a couple a couple, <clears throat> couple nights of that tour because like Steve's mom's place is nice as fuck. We had nice showers, fucking nice ass food. Yeah. Fucking, yeah. I showed up, and his stepdad's got like this whole bar of like nice ass expensive alcohol because. I was like, hey, you might have had like some whiskey. And he's like, oh, I've got some like real, I've got some expensive ass scotch. Like, so yeah, <laughs> like those, those couple nights I was like, man, like, I don't even want to go play shows. Let's just take a trip out to Steve's mom for a week. Like, <laughs> yeah, I was stressed out about staying at my parents' house. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I'm like, okay, like yeah. they're going to say some fucking, you know, like lightweight racism. Yeah. Right? And it yeah. was just like nonstop, nonstop. But, um, well, the, it's my sad. favorite it's part. It's like a whole generation, yeah. man. My I, my favorite racist, part. But somebody makes a comment <laughs> really about racist. like. Don't start with that. <laughs> yeah. Be fine. So somebody's talking to my mom. And they're like, "Well, would you ever go see Steve's band play?" And she's like, "Yeah." She's like, "I would go, but I, I'm telling you right now, I wouldn't like the music, right?" <laughs> and so we bought this acoustic guitar at that guitar shop. That yeah, that, yeah. And so we're out there, and like we're just hanging out on the porch and playing music, and like some old family friends showed up and stuff. And like everybody's like fucking super into it. Like my parents are like, "Oh, like this is so great." And I'm like, "Yeah, you guys." It took to them punk four rock. like playing <laughs> our, yeah. our 50 year old son. We're finally proud of you. <laughs> yeah, it was it was a redeeming moment. Yeah. I can't wait to be 50. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, what would you say that your most memorable like? What'd you take away from it all? Uh, that the oh wait we can't talk about it yet. Well, never mind. The, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not, I'm not, I, I don't like, even know what he's talking about. Yeah. I have no idea what he's saying. <laughs> it's, it's, oh, the, front, awesome. the, the front the, driveway. The, thing. Fr- yeah. the thing in the front driveway right now. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Steve told me I'm not allowed to, like, talk about it or post about but it. I mean, that, like, how does that take away from your tour? So so we really like touring, and I want to do it, like, all Hotels the... Hotels I want to do it. sleep in a bus. No. Nah. Well, I mean, it would save us money. So what we yeah. took away from it is, uh, like, one, we made money on the tour. Like, yeah, it was profitable. Even, even with us enough. getting hotel rooms, we the, the store, the, the tour was still, we made uh, a big profit on it. Even, yeah. even getting stiffed in Houston by a uh, freaking BFE club. Yeah. Yeah. I hope, That's like, cool. I don't know. That's that a guy, good feeling coming home. Like making money off of it. Yeah. yeah so we want to do it more. It wasn't a ton of money, yeah, but, but it was like, yeah, like, yeah, that's we, it. Let's we, do it again. Yeah, we could do it better if we like skip on the hotel rooms, all that. But I want to do it more. Less, uh, we didn't murder less each other. Less scooter stunts. <laughs> less yeah. scooter stunts. Or more bigger stunts. Yeah, I yeah. feel like that was the problem. It's like we tried to half-ass it, and we were yeah. like, oh, we're going to do a skid. <laughs> yeah. And then Karma was just like, you're too fucking cool for a skid. Yeah, that's <laughs> fucking <laughs> shit. That's weak shit. Yeah, the, yeah like, yeah. what are you, you, gotta you, hit a what are you doing over the funny, here? Yeah, the exactly. funny thing about the scooter incident is Gene, <laughs> from the get-go, was just... He's fucking like doing all these like cool like swerves and tricks and shit. Like, <laughs> like it's fucking nothing. Adam got hurt on that. But we're going... And um, there was a, it's like so, a secret pro. Yeah. Like, no, seriously. Right? My my favorite this is my favorite memory of Gene. Like like I'll always think of this because so he's riding behind me and he didn't see that there was a speed bump coming up and all I hear I was like speed bump and then all I hear is oh fuck and I look over <laughs> and Gene is just in the air. <laughs> That's my it's my favorite favorite fucking memory. Of that too. Uh, yeah, then he started hitting them all like on purpose. Like yeah, then speed. he started doing the jumps on <laughs> He's purpose. Like, oh yeah, dude, but, he did, but he the found first something. one was straight up. He was like, because yeah. he, he was like, he was full gassing it. He didn't see that speed bump. But just like oh fuck, and then he's over there just like fucking Tony Hawking it. <laughs> yeah, dude. Hell yeah, good job. Like good the job, 90s Gene. freeze frame, he's like sideways. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was it was pretty. He was a scooty boy. Yeah. I wish we would have brought a skateboard. I think that's the one thing we'll bring next I, time. I just so, wish we had more time to like explore cities we went to. Every, we definitely every day as much was as like a ten hour drive, eight to ten hour. Yeah, drive. you guys covered like, some fucking miles. It was miles. as far yeah. as we could go every that single day goal, while yeah. still being able to play a show and get as far as we could. What was the, the total miles? Like Fifty three hundred miles in ten days. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I feel it's like, like 16 you guys did it all wrong. 16, or, 16, yeah. 16 <laughs> no. or 17 states or something. We like to always like push it, everything we do, like to see how much we can get away with, because then yeah. next time we can just take our time. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. we, we like, could we do did, that. Uh, we, we did three shows in We're... 24 hours in three different cities. That's crazy. Yeah, that one yeah. was wild. California, that was exhausting. That's the limit, yeah. yeah <laughs> three shows like, in one day. Why did we do this? We can do this. We so burnt out on the Let's never do it again. Yeah, and I was looking at like where you guys were playing and what days. I'm like, what the fuck are these guys doing? Yeah. Like, yeah. Seriously, they're gonna go drive ten hours. Yeah, there's multiple. Show. Like you like, can't make it there in that amount of time. Like, like watch us. Watch us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're like we'd have no band There's only one show trouble. we got close on. It's yeah. only one. Yeah. 
And like we had no van trouble, luckily. Like we didn't get fucked with by anybody. Everybody was so nice and welcoming, and it was cool. But it was exhausting. You guys slept in the van each time. You didn't find like a two band houses. To... We had two say. two yeah. nights. One that we was had. in Georgia, and... or three times. It was oh. uh, my homie Prescott's house in Austin. Shout out to Shout Prescott. Shout out to Prescott. Uh, we got to Austin, had a full ass like smoked brisket waiting for us. That was, that was the the one that I was like, oh. This is your one of your best friends. Yeah. Like, let's see, let's see what happens here. You know let's see what, what I mean? he's like, about. Because Chris is one of my best friends. Yeah. So I'm like, it's like that person I always hmm. talk about that no one's ever met. You know? Yeah. Like, this is the guy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he was really cool though. I but uh, it was uh, there, Austin, and uh, after Tulsa were like the three times we had a spot to stay. But yeah. Me and Lola still slept in the van every night. I just have a habit of doing that. It's mm, just my I safe, know why. My That's safe their space. thing. You had to do butt stuff with your wife. I guess. That's right. Sometimes on yeah. tour, you know. Well, no yeah. kids, no band. That's what the extra no road case was for. Yeah. Butt stuff. With what she was strapping on. Oh, was she? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. All the all shout the out, Lola. Yeah. Lo, your yeah. wa- your wife's gonna be on here eventually. Yeah, yeah. She's so, yeah. she's awesome. She's yeah. she drove us the whole way. She, she's one of my favorite people. Brand she's a podcast extraordinaire. Yeah. Can we round of applause for Lola? She's yeah. Awesome. yeah. Before. <laughs> Before we before we close out the episode, what do all those buttons do? What is this one? <laughs> that's for that's for you. First one, yeah. That's, that's it. What do we got? A, hit them all. There's a. So I've, I've been trying to use this one and I keep missing it. Because Justin <laughs> will say something that's supposed to be funny. And it's yeah. Just, yeah. And yeah, I always get a laugh. That's why. Like, gonna, that's, you're that's, gonna have to replace that button pad soon because it's gonna get worn yeah. out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then we got uh Oh hey, look who made it! Oh, finally, who is, look who finally made it to the podcast. Perfect timing for the chimes button. Dr. Yeah. <laughs> this is oh. Dr. everybody Biscuits. give it up for Doctor Biscuits. Yeah. Everybody give it up for Doctor Doctor Biscuits. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, the last one's a record scratch, <laughs> and then we have the intro. Right, but I right won't now. hit that one because that's going to annoy you. Right now, what? Uh, <laughs> let's see. Uh, band wise, what do you? TV tragedy. What do you guys got coming up? Uh, we have our ten year anniversary shows. Before that, we have October seventh in Yuma. Yes, October seventh in Yuma. Yuma Pocket. Joe just strikes me as the guy that the one of the bands knows. that knows things. Yeah. <laughs> he has like a spreadsheet. Because he cut and you calendars. off. I mean, the confidence. He was like, ah, oh, before that. He had like a whole spreadsheet for tours. Like nobody's filling in the spreadsheet. <laughs> like what shows do that's we have? St- that's Steve. <laughs> yeah. 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 I, like I made this calendar and nobody uses it. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that, oh God, that is we you. We need to hang out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> For sure, he goes above and beyond, man. Like uh, when yeah. I, joined, I get yelled at. I get yelled at for not using the band calendar so fucking much. When, <laughs> like, I, when I joined, he was like sending me fucking like tutorials and shit on the song. Video playthrough. Yeah. Oh, the new ones are so fun. So <laughs> yeah. uh, for our ten year that he was talking yeah. about, uh, obviously he hasn't been in the band since we started. Actually, none of them have. So I've been <laughs> making <laughs> like uh, <laughs> nobody has to know. I've been making like videos of the old songs, but it's like full on like. I edit them, like put like nice like t- t- uh, titles, and like I'm like overdubbing my voice, like. Lucky you, you're learning blank song, TV tragedy. You're the Steve of TV tragedy. I want you to know that. <laughs> yeah, yeah no, I was talking to him about TV those... tragedy. Yeah. Lucky you. <laughs> Lucky you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're talking at that pool party. Yeah, we have a lot of similar interests. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah uh, October 7th in Yuma, Yuma Apocalypse. And then uh, 13th and 14th are our 10 year anniversary shows. We got 13th at Time Out Lounge with the Pawns. Who are you playing with on the 14th? The 14th is in Havasu with uh, the Pawns. And? <laughs> and Bertha thir- Monsters. Yeah, my friend fucking left. thank you. No consent. Yeah. No, 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 no consent at the Havasu show. Oh, is it? The 14th, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. The 13th. No, so for the 13th, it's yeah. Sapphire. Sapphire. Sick in the head, the Pawns, and us. Nice. And then this the 14th, is why we have a Joe. The 14th, I'm playing with you guys and have a suit. Yeah, the 14th yeah. is left by as, left. As Birth of Monsters. Monsters, No Consent, yeah. The Pawns, and us. Yeah. Nice. The have Pawns a shows are fucking rad. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Pawns are so cool. They're such good friends, too. Shouts out to the Pawns. Okay, we can. I can I can literally clip Gio saying that from his first episode here. <laughs> the Pawns? You shouted out the Pawns twice on your episode. Pawns. 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 The Pawns. Should we do Adam's Island? It feels wrong. Like we yeah, we're not going to... We want to do Adam's Island without Adam. We love you, Adam. Uh, yeah. Heal on your island safely, and we'll see you... Let's see. Uh, we get back into the game. That's well, actually why he's asking. He has all those island recommendations right now. Why is yeah. yeah. Why is, the is island that boys? all we have booked right now? <laughs> what? Uh, is that all we have? Officially, yeah. Uh, the island boys. <laughs> Shouts out to the island boys. Why? No. 
Because Adam's Island. Oh, okay. <laughs> but not the island, but I'm an island. Isn't that where they're from? Weed them Scooty. They're from, they're they're from Adam's Scooty Island. They came from Adam. <laughs> what's, squ- what's Square doing? What's coming up with Square? Uh, we're actually on the show. We have a show tonight on the, the day that this is being recorded. Um, so if you're watching now, you fucking missed it. <laughs> uh, you should have been there. It was great. Yeah, we are also playing uh, Thursday, September. What's this Thursday? September. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Squirt's playing this Thursday? Yeah, with God Patrol, Birth of Oh, Monsters. shit, yeah, yeah. You're I'm playing, playing that one, too. I forgot. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, yeah, I mean, we got some cool stuff coming up. What do you got uh, coming up in November? I think, I think right now is a good time to kind of publicly put this out because Uh-oh. we've been kind of oh, pussyfooting around about it, but... Uh, <laughs> We've got breaking news from yeah. FOL Squared. and Squared. Oh. We're dropping a split. Yeah, we got oh, a split. Yeah. We got a split coming soon. Uh, two new songs from each band and covering each other's song. <laughs> That'll be out soon. Just got to get it recorded. Got the songs all ready to roll. <laughs> Fuck yes. Yeah. So um, I'm just finding out about this. And it's, I hate it. it's funny because <laughs> we've been like bro bro bands, like brother bands for. They yeah, we've been, in, been mm. inside each other for a long time. Long yeah. time. Yeah. And then we it's just pickling. locked. Kind of looked at each other one day. And <laughs> it's not like, docking. It's pickling. <laughs> <laughs> we just looked at each other one day. We're like, let's do a split. And Chris is like, yeah. Like, why, why, why haven't we? Why haven't we done that yet? <laughs> so that's why we're doing it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We got one coming soon. Not F-O-L because they want to release X them. squared. Okay. Uh, then, I don't know what we're calling it yet, but uh, it'll be something. Something like that. And nice. let's see. And then for us, we're we got a single we have, coming out. We got a single month. coming out. We had to cancel all of our shows, yeah. <laughs> all of our September shows and early October shows because of Adam. So yeah. we're out of commission then. The on the fifteenth, we're not with, because of Adam, because of the misfortunes that Adam. Yeah, yeah no. Justin dealt. said, you know, basically it all wrong and made Adam look like an asshole. I know, right? But you're not an asshole. Adam's the one that started the "I have a small head" thing, like going around, like the name of our fucking hot sauce. <laughs> Adam can fuck off right now. Like, I, mean, so, I love you. So buddy. the, you know, Justin was like, dude, our heads are the same size. Literally, like I wear small hats. Yeah, I wear small helmets. I know I've got a small head. And so, <laughs> wow. Let's see, we're yeah. playing, we're like, our first show back is October 15th with Voice of Addiction. Oh, those and dudes then, are so cool. Yeah, yeah those are awesome. Dudes. We're playing that one. And then in November, I've got my brother's band is coming out. Um, I used to, like, from the time I was like 14 until I was like 26, my brother and I played in bands and did the touring thing and all that. So, me moving to Arizona, Manic Dotes. And his project South Six are our first times in our lives we're in projects that don't involve involve each nice. other. Yeah, we get to so play as a band squared for that show. Yeah, we got we got this we got the shit as band squared to play for it. But no, like <laughs> I'm sucks. like I'm gonna like I'm gonna no, I'm gonna cry about. for that show because <laughs> my brother's gonna come up and Steve was like, hey man, like I'll give your brother the bass and your brother, you guys should play nice. a song together. I'm gonna cry for that. I've got family flying out. Where's your brother live at? He's in California, Oakdale, California, oh, okay. right now. That where you're from? Yeah, like fucking. Uh, I'm not from Oakdale, but he's. I'm yeah. from California, yeah. but um, yeah, like I don't know. I'm gonna cry. Like I just want. I like. I was trying to get like bands that are like my homies to play because I want my brother to meet the people I think are the coolest yeah. in the scene. That's cool. But also, I want the show to make money because and some of the some of my homies' bands aren't that great. <laughs> but, <laughs> so, but yeah, that's that's coming up. I'm gonna cry. I've got family flying out to come watch my brother and I play again. That's cool. It's gonna be a dope one. But I think. Where are we? We made it to an hour and 11 minutes on this. We got to hear some cool stories, but we're back at shooting this. Uh, this It's probably going to be Steve for a little bit. We might try to get Adam in, in a sling on here. You guys can find TV Tragedy uh, anywhere that you stream music, any social media platform. And behind any Circle K we're on, at 2 in the morning. <laughs> yeah, if we're on tour, that's <laughs> That's, that's where we're right. sleeping. <laughs> but, uh, Free handies and gas station bathrooms. Only outside yeah. the pants. Check only us out on TikTok. YouTube, all that. Um, and they even got these little, if you want to shotgun a beer. Which we're going to do. Like it's such yeah. a fucking. We're going to do. You know, yeah, before we close this out, will somebody does. grab Justin a beer and uh, grab so, me. so he can finally so, figure yeah, out how to right, some, Somebody show me how to do this. It, it, I've never shotgun a beer. Shotgun. Joe, oh, show let, me, let me see that thing. All right. Do you have Is any? that an IPA? So there's a. <laughs> yeah, no, we're shotgun an IPA. It's a It's a golden ale. Oh, it's a yeah, lager. Yeah, you'll be good. All right, so how do I do I this? I thought it was an so IPA. You like, want to yeah. get the air pocket right here so you tilt it a little bit so like, you don't so get it like exploding this? everywhere. Hold on. Yeah. The, yeah I'm gonna fuck, I'm, if I fuck up these expensive yeah. microphones. So, so tilt it down. Yeah, so you tilt it like this. Yeah, we got to get it like that. Sorry. You get the air pocket up top and then you just poke in. Just, okay. Like that. Oh, Chris doesn't know what he's doing. All right. 
So now, <laughs> and then now, this is your drinking hole. Here, put your mouth over the bottom lip, not the side. Justin, of it. Mm. Mm. there you go. I'm impressed. That was easy. Yeah, uh, it just fell into my. Ugh. Yeah, that's the point. <laughs> <laughs> this does not I made mean, a mess. <laughs> God damn it. That does not mix with scotch. And it worked so well. Good job, guys. <laughs> All right, we're going to end the podcast now. <laughs> Everywhere. <laughs> 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 Alright, let's go smoke a cigarette. Uh, Struggle. Thanks for coming out. <laughs> 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 oh man. Did you just do a second one? No, he's finishing the first one. Oh.